Okay, welcome back to FTL Faster Than Light, Voyage of the Dawn Treader. Uh, well, here we go. Uh, <laughs> as you can see, we got pretty beat up last sector, and this sector we... Well, uh, this sector is going to actually start getting a little trickier. Uh, for one, we're more likely to run into uh, enemies that are going to have multiple shields, multiple levels of shields, so either two or three shields. And, of course, they're going to hit a little harder, and... Uh, yeah, so anyway, first things first, uh, we're going to go ahead and allocate power and try to get things charged up. Unfortunately, I've only got four power for my weapons, so depending on what we run into, we either have to use the glaive beam or the uh, heavy laser oops, chain ion combination. Uh, the thing to point out is that whatever's in this first slot right here is what your uh, Zoltan is going to actually power. So uh, you have to kind of rearrange things as necessary. So anyway, first up, let's hit the jump and see what... Uh, yes, exactly what I wanted, was hoping for. There's a store within easy reach. That's where we're going first. And uh, yeah, then what we'll do is we're probably going to cut through the... Yeah, we'll cut through this uh, nebula down here. That'll slow things down, give us a chance to bounce around a little bit more. But first, gonna have to go to that store, get the hole repaired, see about buying some other equipment. So, uh, drones, nothing really good. The hole laser, three shots of charge, but I just don't, uh, just don't have three power slots to put into it. Fire beam, that's pretty nice. Chain laser, um, that's okay. But again, I just don't have the power to put into it right now. Um, it, it'll, it'll get to the point where it charges faster and faster. Um, but let me check something here. Nine second charge, chain laser. No, it just takes too long to, to spool up. So, so anyway, it's going to cost me 81 but to fix everything. But let's see what else we can get here. Scrap recovery arm. Useful. We're only about halfway through the match, or through the uh, battle. <laughs> through the campaign um, and it will definitely end up paying for itself but between that and that that's going to cost me 131 <sighs> I gotta fix all simple as that don't really want any of those don't really want any of those so we'll go to the augmentations scrap recovery arm I'm going to go ahead and get that if I get enough fights that's going to end up paying for itself um Let's see. Sell. What can we sell? Well, I got a chain ion I can sell. And I got a system repair drone I can sell. So I'm not doing too bad overall. So we're up, we're ready to rock. We could just we could use a couple more power slots. But there is another store right there. And I'd like to hit that before getting out of this area. So we're off! Ah, oh, shit. Well, I should have bought some fuel, but that's okay. I can hit, get it at the next one. And actually, this is a better deal. Uh, six fuel for 12 scrap is much better than the, what the store was offering. So, you're welcome for the business. So, we're going to go ahead and jump again. Now, we can jump to this ship here. Deal with what's going on. Back to the store, and then this way. And I think that's the best way to maximize scrap for this store. So, here we go. Manda ship. Okay, he's only got one shield. So, we're going to go ahead and do our standard... Uh... Standard model here. Uh, that looks like an ion. That looks like a laser. So, we'll wait to, uh, wait to cloak when they actually fire. So, wait for it, wait for it. I'm going to take the hit. And, oh, come on. Oy. Was I just too slow? Okay. Can get our weapons back up. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And we're charging, charging, charging. So... At this point, at this point, I'm thinking I need the faster, faster charges, and that's going to be it. I'm going to take another beating on this one. 
Okay, weapons, not too bad. Man, I am not having the luck I would like, but... Good, got his weapons offline. All right, or at least partially offline. And let's turn off the shot from the laser because I want to get get their shields down again. I gotta get their shields down again. And I missed. And their shields are completely up. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and wait. For their shots. Not worried about that. Okay, that's out. The shields are down. Get the weapon. Laser fired. Cloak. And they missed. And that's what I wanted. Okay, so we we can firewall cloak. That's just gonna lower the duration of my cloak. But his weapons are down. His shields are pretty much permanently down now. Okay, and this is just this is what we want to do. Just let the just let the weapons fire automatically. It cost me a lot of health. Uh, that one hit. So uh, as you saw, the cloak is not a guaranteed thing. So there we go. So with the scrap, oh, 49 scrap, and with the scrap recovery arm, that's going to give us an extra five scrap. So watch up here. Should get a plus 54, 53, so only four. So, but not too shabby. So we're gonna go ahead and jump back to the store. And small shop here, and let's see what we got here. We've got mind control, which is nice. Hull missiles, which are nice because when we get up to those higher levels, we're gonna want those extra, uh, extra shield penetration. Flak, which is really good for taking down shields. Only two shot, two power for that. Two power for the whole missile. Don't really have anything to sell right now. Stun bomb is okay. Um, mind control. If I did, if I grab mind control, I would need um, more power. Although I could bring up more power pretty easily, but I'm not going to be able to get mind control, and a better weapon. Um, I'd really like Crew Teleporter, but I don't think that's going to happen. So, uh, Mind control is really nice, especially when you get to the final boss. As it is, I can get the shields down fairly reliably. Uh, the only problem is I can only have eight, I only have eight uh, power that I can put into the weapons, and that's what I'm holding right now. So, I think mind control right now, if I bought anything else, I just wouldn't be able to use it anytime in the near future. So, I'm just going to fix half my, um, half my damage. And I've got one mind control, and I got a point in my, uh, battery and I'm gonna get one more just so I can have it on hand that way I can fire up the uh, defense drone if I need to and it's time to jump to the distress beacon so okay uh, mining colony where an unknown disease is spread virulently now we had this one before but before we didn't have an NG crew member now the NG crew members got the advantage that he can get down there with no fear of catching the disease so uh, called by its extensive knowledge of human physiology, the infected soon submit to the quarantine in hopes a cure can be found. The colony leaders offer a reward for helping to prevent an ugly incident. So there's another 24 scrap and four fuel and four missiles. So we're good on fuel. We're good on missiles. We're not so good on drone parts, uh, but we're doing well on scrap and it's time to keep jumping. So we're going to try to avoid this ion storm area here and take the long way around. But... Uh, right now, this is the only place that we can really go. So, all right, popular man is hunting ground. He has one shield. So, what I want to do is I want to get the glaive beam here, get it charged, 
Uh, if I had a slug crew member, I'd be in good shape because I could tell where there's enemies on the, on board or on the enemy ship, and then I can mind control them. But as it is, we'll wait for shots to come in. Ah, ah man, I am just not on it uh, very cleanly right now. But that's okay because I will be charged by the time my shield wears off, and that's what I want. So. We're going to do that. And shot out. Okay. And I believe that's an ion or a flak. Not sure which. Oh, no. It's a teleport. Teleporting stun bomb. Okay, no problem. We got this. Alrighty. And we're just waiting for our glaive beam to finish charging. And as soon as it does... Zap. Although, again... I should have gone with the heavy laser charge and gotten it over a lot faster. So, okay, a uh, decent amount of scrap. And it's time to uh, think about doing an upgrade. If I upgrade the weapons, I could put an extra point of power in there and have the heavy laser along with the glaive beam. Uh, if I go into engines, it's going to increase my dodge. But right now, I think... I need the extra point in weapons, just like that. What I'd really like to find when I hit a store is a weapon breakout. That way I'll be ready to fire as soon as I come out of jump, and then I can hit them preemptively. So, man a ship lost in the storm, and uh, their sensors are out. We have no local telemetry. They're going to try to take mine. So, uh, they've got a teleporter. Okay, that's all right. We've got mind control. And uh, the only issue is here is how hard we can hit them with everything being down. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to turn off the glaive beam, and we're going to turn on the chain ion. Oh, actually, we don't need to do that. My bad. Okay, we've got the heavy laser up. They do have a missile. So we're going to turn that off. Uh, we're going to get boarded here. There's no way around that, but I'm going to wait for the shots for the missile fire to come in. And as soon as that happens, I'm going to go ahead and pop my uh, pop my cloak. So where the hell are they? And I'm going to send my mantises around, running around to see if I can find the bad guys. So let's do that. Oh, they're in the mind control uh, area, which is right here. So actually, you know what? We're just going to pop that door wide open. So... Let's wait and see what happens. Okay, missiles on the way. And we're going to send these two guys to... Actually, we're going to send... The, yeah, we're going to send this guy here. Uh, we're going to send these two guys to... There. And, of course, he gets the shot in. That's all right. leave him there. Let's get our NG in there to help get that up. Uh, but the glaive beam is going to come online well before these guys get... Okay, just one left. He's going to go down easy. The glaive beam is going to be online here shortly. The heavy laser should be online soon after that. And the shot is going to go right through here. We're going to take down their shields. Right, damage rumor hits three. It's only going to do one damage per room, but it's going to take the shields down as well. So, shot out. Turn crew to their positions, although... All right. So, I want to turn off... No, I'm going to leave the Glaive Beam on, because he's not going to be able to hit us that hard. And I've got to wait for the Heavy Laser come up, but you know what? Let's go ahead and shoot with it anyway, because it can't hurt. You can at least take their shields down. Gonna run. This is just an ion cannon they're firing. So. And we've got enemies on board again. And the question is, they're in our O2. So, easy enough. Heavy laser fire, and it hits. 
And now, we're gonna wreck them. Okay, I think we handled that pretty well. Okay, uh, two fuel, a drone part, and 50 scrap. And that's nice. But first, we've got to get some dudes healed up. And that's part of the part of the challenge of the game is uh, uh, juggling your weapon systems priority and your crew and how they're doing. And Charlie, where the hell is Charlie? Oh, there he is. Okay, uh, your crew, how they're doing, how they um, uh, you know keeping your crew alive, keeping your weapon, your systems up. Do you do you let a you let a crew member you know stay there and in bad health? Uh, you know, if you don't have anything else that you can reasonably do, so. All right, so anyway, uh, we finished that, and we're off to the next jump point, and here we go. So, and like I said, I do tend to pause this game a lot, uh, but that's so I can set up my tactical options. Okay, a Rebel Scout jumps in, moves to attack, no problem. Uh, oh, we've got drones coming in, so I'm going to fire off an anti-drone drone, and that's pretty much... All I can do, at least in the short term, except, of course, watch my shit get caught on fire. So, uh, come on, come on, come on, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. Okay. All right, he missed. We, fortunately, we've got our weapons up. And what we got to basically do is let the go. Laser, come on board. As soon as that does, let the glee beam come. As soon as that does, then we're going to be in good shape. So let's set up our shot. And what we're going to do is go ahead and fire the laser. And this will maximize the amount of... Ah, I way mistimed that. Okay. Oh, come on. That's bullshit. Okay. All right, Charlie, you keep doing... No, Charlie, you come over here, because I need you to get the piloting back online. Come on, yeah, let's take that drone down. Okay, we just got to... Okay, something's burning. Ah, oh, crap, it was our... Uh, our drone control. That's nice. And our drone's down. Okay, we're going to have our glaive beam up here in a little bit. So we got to get some folks in here, get this fire taken care of. As quickly as we can. Oops, Psy, you need healing. Come on, just a couple more seconds. Okay, there we go. Alright, we still got a fire going on. You get in there. You get in there. We're gonna just open doors. You get in there. And I'm not sure what's going on in mind control, but if it's out. So we're just going to leave everybody as is. We're going to let them stay in place. Oh, shit. Okay, close that. Because otherwise he's going to die. Come on. Come on, O2. Fill, 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 fill. Good. All right. No more uh, fire sounds. That means everything's out. So we got to close some doors. And we got to get some, get some uh, repair parties running around. So, that's done, and where's my NG? There he is. All right. And you really want to spread around your chances for repairs and all that to multiple crew members, just so everybody can get the option to uh, to do repairs, and this will get their repair, their repair skill up as well. So... And is, is Nick me? Yeah, there we go. Our pilot, he's hurt. So, almost done. As soon as we get the mind control up, we'll jump. And there we go. Alright, and we're off again. Uh, let's go ahead. Okay, if we go to the stress beacon, we can go back around this way and get to the exit. I think that's the way to go. The stress means we've probably got a ship here that we can either help or hurt, so, uh, it's a trap, <laughs> so, uh, we've got a missile on the enemy ship, 
so I need an extra point of defense. So there we go. And actually, what we're going to do is I'm going to put a point into mind control and work on their weapons. So. Waiting for... Okay, the defense drone takes care of the missile. And, of course, we take a hit from... Man. Okay, so anyway... Wait for the glaive beam to come online, and as soon as it does, we will drop a shot just like that. Combination of shields and uh, shields and weapons. They want to surrender. I'm actually feeling pretty confident, and sure enough, good. So, heavy laser is still broken. Not anymore, it's not. Okay. So we're going to get the heavy laser shots off to system A, or excuse me, the, their weapon system. As long as the shields don't come back up, we're okay. And yep, oh good, set them on fire. And well, at this point, it's going to be pretty much over for them, because uh, Glaive Beam is going to take care of it. Here we go. And continue and that uh, that uh, scrap arm has already paid for itself so only trouble is we took a lot of we're taking a lot of hits and a lot of hits that we don't need to take so and I need really need to do something about that uh, I do not want to pay the pirate toll so I'm going to reject their offer and we're gonna continue we're gonna get boarded uh, they got a missile launcher and a laser so gonna get that out and let's go ahead and, as soon as we get boarded, we're going to send our, our mantises after their mantis and uh, let everything do its thing. So, we're going to be able to defend pretty well. Ah, oh, crap. One shot. Okay. Yep, got to close. So we're good to go there. Let's send these guys back to get healed. And they're almost done there. Glaive beam is almost ready. As soon as it is, I will fire the heavy laser, take the shields down, and wreck their ship. Okay. We're just going to put it right through the middle. Weapons. Shield. We don't want surrender. We want justice. Sweet, sweet justice and they missed their weapons are down uh, our laser is going to take care of them in just a couple of seconds and there we go so drone part 44 scrap good to go got over 200 scrap we need to check our jumps and first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to put by two power bars and an extra engine slot and there we go so we've got plenty of juice now our uh, engines are upgraded so anyway we can jump to the exit from any one of these and that's what I want to do so it's gonna get a little might get a little tight but hopefully we don't run into the uh, enemy ships so there's that I can move here and then maybe here and back so that's the plan. I'm lower on health, whole health, than I would like to be. Um, attack the automated ship to get to the station. I can use my stealth to ex access the space station directly, and I think I'm going to do that. And, yeah, 19 scrap. A few missiles. Got a lot of missiles. So. Okay, we're going to get two short jumps, so it's going to jump to here. And then my second jump back, I'll be in the warning zone, so I'll be okay. So we're going to jump here. I'm thinking I probably should have attacked that ship. Just just because. But Okay, drone isn't looking for me, but that's okay. Uh, it identifies me as hostile, and it's coming after me. So we've got two weapons on board. And it uh, looks like an ion and a beam. Definitely want to dodge those. But we're going to fire at... 
their weapon system, and of course, we get a miss. So we're gonna fire again as soon as it comes up, even though that's gonna minimize the stealth. I need to get his weapons damaged, and he's got a beam, of course, so. Yep, that's what we're gonna do. If we get this shot off, we get the Okay, ship explodes. Useful scrap material. So, we're in pretty good shape. Uh, oops. Forgot to have my uh, crew get healed up there, which is always a bad thing. So, and we need to get you there, and we need to get you there. Nathan standing by. Get Nathan in there, get him healed real quick. Alright, back to stations, and we're gonna jump to the exit. And continue. Come on, no store, no nothing. Alright, well, jump into the next sector. And we are gonna go to the abandoned sector because I want to be able to get through these civilian sectors for the for the tail end of this, so. And I guess that's it uh, for uh, part four. So uh, let's hope I can find another store just as quick as I did at the beginning of this one, uh, this, this episode. So thank you very much for watching and uh, catch you next time. Bye.